Hello everybody, it is me, Ashitos Nicolitos, and thank you for clicking on my video today. I appreciate you. Um, it is hot today, it is really hot, um, so you'll be seeing me sipping on my drink every so often. Because, uh, you know, I don't like the heat, so bear with me, please. <laughs> I just really wanted to get this video to y'all. Because word on the block is that I've kept y'all in the dark for a little bit too long now. And, you know, it's finally get, gotten to that point where I can share with y'all where I plan on going for the next four years of my life, where I'm going to medical school, and how I came to this decision. Because if you've seen my other videos, you're aware that I did get 18 acceptances. I was blessed with 18 acceptances. But that meant a very difficult decision. So we're going to get into all of that, anything in between, this, that, and the other thing. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are not new here, welcome back. I'm so glad to have y'all here with me today. So let's get started. So just to recap a little bit, if you're familiar with my last video, I talked about all the schools I was rejected to, accepted to, and waitlisted to this year. Um, and of those acceptances, there were 18. And those included Howard, Hackensack, University of Miami, Geisinger, Commonwealth, Tufts, Northwestern, Mount Sinai, NYU Long Island, Penn State, Stony Brook, Hofstra, SUNY Upstate, Brown, Quinnipiac, NYIT in Long Island, Drexel, Rutgers, and Rush. So those are all of my acceptances. And yes, it was a lot. Um, it was definitely a lot. And like I said earlier, I was blessed with all of these acceptances. Um, and that also just kind of made the, the whole task of choosing one out of all of those medical schools more difficult. It was a, it was a beautiful problem to have. Let me, let me definitely say that. But what, was it a... Um, challenging problem to have at the same time yes it was because at the same time you're getting all of these emails um, from all of these different schools you are you are connecting with people at these schools and this is something that I talked about in the comments of another video how I wasn't expecting to make so many connections with faculty staff students at all of these schools that made it really hard to say goodbye to them um, so that was something that I wasn't expecting too much, but it also did make the decision a lot harder. What else made the decision a little bit tricky is that I didn't have access to all of the information all at the same time, right? So for some schools, it wasn't up until that first um, AMCAS deadline that they have with the Choose Your Medical School tool that I finally had information on housing, on financial aid, on... Um, a dual degree programs, whether or not I was admitted to both MD and MPH programs. This was information that slowly trickled in towards the end, so that also made the decision pretty difficult. When I had the April 30th deadline and I'm just kind of like, oh wow, I just got all the information on some of these schools, like yesterday. Um, yeah, so that also made things a little bit difficult. Another thing that made this decision really difficult is that these are all good schools incredible schools with great programs i applied to them for a reason because i like them and i could see myself going to these schools so i mean i'm glad that i made such a good school list for myself and i might just make a separate video on how to make your school list if that's something that y'all are interested in but um that also made it really difficult when it came time for decisions because did i think i was going to get into all of these schools no i did not um so yeah the, it caught me off guard um yeah, so that also made it difficult just knowing that and everybody keeps saying there is no wrong choice in this there is no wrong choice and like it's true but it's still a difficult choice um yeah so that made it difficult and i would say what made it the most difficult in terms of choosing schools especially when i got down to like the um the final selections was i had a little bit of an identity crisis i'm not gonna lie to y'all um i went into this cycle over a year ago and I thought that I wanted certain things I thought that I was gonna be an ob guy and life was gonna be easy and happy and that's just like what I was gonna do with my life um, and then as I went through this year I came to the realization that I think it was actually through listening to Dr. Gray's podcast the pre-med years if you're not listening please go listen um, but he was just basically saying like 
students who go into medical school with the idea that, oh, I'm going to be this and that, and I'm going to specialize and sub-specialize in this and that, a lot of that comes from what they've been exposed to up until that point. But you get to medical school and you realize that there's so much that you've never seen before. So I'm listening to this and I'm just kind of like, oh crap. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I haven't been exposed to rheumatology. I've never been in an operating room before. Um, I'm in no position to be making a decision as to what type of specialty I want to go into. And that created a bit of an issue for schools that I applied to into accelerated tracks. So that was something that also made this decision pretty difficult. I started to ask myself a year later when it came time for a decision, what do I really want out of medical school? What type of experience do I want? Am I ready to commit? Am I not ready to commit? These were all conversations that I had to have with myself as well as the people who are closest to me. Because my mind, at some, on some days my mind was just kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, help. Um, but yeah, these were, these were serious conversations that I had to sit down and like really ask myself. Um, yeah, so those were like the main things that were going through my mind as I made the decision. But I had to narrow down the, the schools, right? Um, and how did I narrow down the schools? Because like I said before, they're all amazing schools. So what I did was I looked at finances because I always knew that finances were going to be a huge part of my decision. I looked at location. Where did I want to be? Um, the culture of the school and the opportunities that I would have going to that school in terms of specialties that I'd be exposed to, the ability to explore and get that early clinical experience. And so I'm realizing now, I know nothing about nothing. I'm just a kid. Yeah, so that's something that I was really looking for when it came to decision time. Who's gonna set me up with the opportunity to see all of this that I still haven't seen yet? Um, yeah, so with those four, I ended up narrowing down my schools to four schools, right? Four of them really keep me trouble in terms of the decision. And those were Northwestern, Mount Sinai, Brown, and NYU Long Island, right? Um, and for a while, I did bounce back and forth between these schools. Um, I took some time. I, I went to the Second Look events. I reached out to students. I asked questions. Some students actually got back to me. They set up Zoom sessions with me. They texted me. Um, and overall, like I, I just met so many amazing people throughout this decision-making uh, process, and and that has been like super meaningful for me. And, and y'all know if y'all are watching my video, y'all know who you are. And again, thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, so if I if I were to give advice to anybody, let's say fast forward a year and you're also trying to make a decision here, reach out to the students there, talk to them, um, ask them questions, make sure that you have all of the information that you need. I know it's, it's hard to do to get all of the information out there so you can make your pros and cons. Um, your budgets, your spreadsheets, taking a look at all the information there. Because as a Virgo, that's what I needed. Um, and when I did finally put everything down there in front of me, all the information I had about the course structures, the finances, what my life would kind of look like in these areas. Because remember, Mount Sinai is here in New York City, Northwestern was in Chicago, Brown in Providence, and NYU Long Island, that's in Long Island. These are all very different places with very different cultures, and I'm just kind of like, what do I want for myself? So I prayed on it, I meditated on it, I analyzed that information like the Virgo that I am, and I finally did end up making a decision, and I guess that's why y'all are all here today. Yeah, so give me a second, I'm a little thirsty. Did I mention that it's like super hot here in New York? It's like in the 90s this week, so like if you see me wiping and you, you know, just bear with me. Oh yeah, but I'm going to Mount Sinai, to Mount Sinai, to Mount Sinai, to Mount Sinai. Really well with the students here. When I reached out to the students, 
because there's a difference and uh, people always tell you to watch out for the vibe and I've mentioned this before in my interview videos talking about you know um, vibing well with students and what that feels like over zoom but when I got to Mount Sinai and I was able to interact with the students there it wasn't so much of like oh yeah they're so nice because all the students were nice everywhere right I could see myself being friends with students at all of these second look events that I went to but it was at Mount Sinai where I met some students and it was like that spider-man meme where it's just kind of like why are you me and I'm you type thing right so that that was when I realized I'm like yeah this school is a fit for me and like these are going to be the types of friends probably that I'm still going to be in contact with like 20 years from now 25 years from now and that's important because you go to medical school you spend your time in the classroom but most of your time is going to be spent with who your peers right so that was huge in terms of finances it was they offered me an amazing financial aid package that I couldn't say no to. And also being in the comfort of my city, like where all my family is and being surrounded by my support system, I can't I can't put a price tag on that. So am I am I happy with the opportunities that I'm going to be able to have just by learning medicine in New York City? That I am. So I am I'm done. Listen y'all, I'm done. I've checked out of this application year I'm done 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 and it feels so good um yeah sorry give me a moment I actually do need water now if you would have asked me a year ago where I would like to go to medical school so I always told people I'm going wherever they accept me um, even if it's in the south where I hate the heat. Y'all know I hate the heat. I said if it's in the south, if it's in the hottest region of this country, that's where I'm going. I'm going wherever they'll accept me. And then we fast forward a year later and I can't believe that I'm actually going to a school that I didn't even think would give me the time of day. Um, yeah, so that's what I mean by like, this, this year has changed me in a lot of ways. Um, it's taught me how to handle stress healthily and unhealthily, not gonna lie. But it's also taught me that like I need to have more confidence in myself. And um, the limits that we set on ourselves, like, don't do that. Just don't. I, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. It's just kind of like, I've learned a lot this year. Um, and I'm excited to start at Mount Sinai, which I will be starting on in July, actually. And I'm doing a little summer program because, you know, your girl's been out of school for a little bit. Uh, I, I just think about, like, what I know now. <laughs> I know in, like, the negatives. Th this cycle has shown me that I know in the negatives, basically, versus what I'm going to know at the end of my first year of medical school, right? And it'll still just be the tip of the iceberg, but compared to now, so excited for that um yeah so so we finally did it we made it uh yo know because you know the hashtag yo know which i talked about in my last video you only need one right regardless of how many acceptances you get to medical school you can only attend one and mount sinai this this is my one and so yeah we, we finally made it and and for those of y'all who have been following me from the beginning going through my MCAT reveal, um, my applications, my interviews, my acceptances, and now finally committing to a school. I appreciate y'all, and I'm so glad that I was able to bring y'all along with me for this journey. For those of y'all that are new, welcome. And I hope that y'all continue to follow me as I go through medical school and document some of what are supposed to be the most difficult um but also hopefully really fun and enjoyable four years of my journey to medicine um yeah so again thank you so much for tuning in and i hope that you enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed already you can subscribe down below and you know i'll love you forever if you already subscribed i already love you okay um yeah so again i'll see you next time and stay safe and stay cool Please stay cool because it's hot in these streets. Alright, bye. Mm -hmm.